Hi everybody, it's Sloan from SloanBella.com and I'm back with an astrology update for tomorrow's new moon in Virgo at 17 degrees, 11.01 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So what is this new moon about? What is a new moon about? A new moon is a time frame in which we set down our goals and ideas and things that we want to change in our life and we focus on those things and put them into action. Now depending on the sign that the new moon is going into or which sign the new moon is in, we take action according to the temperament of the sign and this one is in Virgo. So Virgo is a feminine mutable earth sign. So it has the texture of earth meaning all things money, all things organized, all things orderly, all things that we focus on in our day-to-day -day life. How do we put our books in order? How do we assign ourselves things we need to do? What's our workout program like? How is this constructed? What are we looking for? If we're looking for a new home, how do we search for that new home? The lists we make, the things that we focus on. And Virgo is very, 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 very picky about what they focus on. So you will start to see in this two and a half day time frame when the moon is new that people will start being very specific about their needs and wants. Now what makes this Virgo new moon very, very unique is the fact that it is at a degree which makes the moon either a sinner or a saint, a saint or a sinner. There is no gray area with this new moon. So you best take note of your actions, your behaviors, your conversations, and the things that you focus on energetically, because those things are going to come into effect, not only for the next two weeks, but until the end of the year. So we have another three, three and a half months until the end of the year. And with all the retrograde planets, well, two have gone direct, Four are still going backwards, so it's been a hell of a year, but those retrograde planets, along with this new moon, are going to set the tempo until the end of the year. So you want to make sure that you focus on exactly what you want to. Now, if you happen to be a person that partakes in drugs or alcohol, you need to be careful during this time frame because we have oppositions and we have trines and we have squares, of course, depending on the degrees of your planets, but this Virgo new moon does not leave an inch to make a mistake. Remember that Virgo is exacting. So if you have personal planets, your rising sign, your moon sign, or your sun sign at 17 degrees Virgo or within a three degree orb, which will be from 14 to 20, you are going to be affected by this new moon. And that goes along with the trining planets, uh, I mean the trining aspects of Taurus and Capricorn at the same degrees. Now a trine is a good thing with this energy because it's going to push the energy along in a very directed, focused, and specific way. If you happen to have squaring, <laughs> squaring planets of Gemini or Sagittarius at that degree, you guys may find yourself a little bit out of sorts. Now, especially when I go to the Sagittarius, because the Sagittarius at this point is having a little bit of a difficult time on an emotional level, and this Virgo moon, new moon, implements it even more. So for the Sagittarius, the new moon in Virgo makes them sadder than usual. So you know how I feel about Sagittariuses, and they're always so happy. This new moon makes them a little bit melancholy and it's not because like anything weird is happening. It's because it's going to focus their attention on the things that don't make them run out the door giggling and laughing. So probably responsibility driven type things and people in your life, which is why it's extremely important that you only act in a way that's according with your soul energy that you feel comfortable with. So if one of your friends says, hey, let's go knock off a liquor store. Perhaps we should put that on hold till we hit another moon sign like cancer or something where we can all get drunk. But in, in I, I'm just in joke at this point. However, having said that, you need to be really careful who and what you're around because it's going to set into play this series of events which are very specific. Now, if you are a Pisces and your Pisces planets, uh, moon, rising or sun sign are in the degree in opposition, you need to be careful as well because it's going to point out in very specific and precise detail what you've gotten yourself into. So for your Pisces people, it's going to point out those things 
that maybe you've kind of like turned a blind eye to or you're like, ah, yeah, I'm not really paying attention. You're going to see very specifically what's going on. You may or may not like it. Again, saint or sinner is the energy of this new moon and nothing in between. At the same time that we have the new moon, we have Venus going into Scorpio, which gives it yet another undertone and bite. Uh, Venus in Scorpio in and of itself is going to be an emotional and verbal play on words for power and control. So that's the energy, energy that's coming into effect right now. And as we know, Virgos can play mental games because they can think quicker than most people and they can get in there and they can use big words and they can speak and they can twist your heads. But with the Venus and Scorpio playing along with it, that combination makes for a great detective, a sniper, um, I'm kidding. No, I wanted to say that, a sniper, or a person who's very focused on having things turn out in a certain way. So we need to really watch who and how and what we say to other people, whom we're speaking to, what we're saying, and how we're saying it, because it's going to set the tone in this new moon. So be very careful with your personal romantic and love relationships, because that's where it can get dicey. So having said that, let's go through all 12 signs. All right, first sign of the zodiac is Aries. So how is Aries going to feel during this Virgo new moon? It's a good thing for Aries that they get along pretty well with Virgos. And you will often see a lot of family members, Aries, Virgo, Virgo, Aries, in combination, whether it be parents or children, children or parents and or lovers. But for Aries, this is going to help ground them to focus specifically on what they need to correct certain things that have come back up for them again. Remember, Aries had seven years with Uranus in Vir um, sorry, in Virgo, Uranus in, in its sign of Aries, okay? And then we went into Taurus and that was a happy day for all the Aries, but then we went retrograde, which means those issues that Aries didn't finish up with that drive them a little bit stark raving mad are coming up again. So this Virgo new moon is going to help facilitate clarity and where they need to take action in their lives. So for Aries, it's actually a good new moon. All new moons are good because they're clearing and they're moving forward. But for Aries in particular, this one is one to pay attention to. Now for your Taurus people, this is a trining new moon for you. So it is a good one because Taurus and Virgo, both earth signs, um, one mutable, one fixed. So Taurus, you guys are fixed. Mutable is gonna give you a little bit of a changeable mindset towards where you're going in the direction of your actions, in particular with respect to work coming up. So for your Taurus people, we're going to see a very direct and specific focus work-wise for them so that they can move through into the next year Keep in mind, we're finishing out this year, so we're the last little quarter of this year, so we're finishing out and we are moving into the next year. So for Taurus, they need to get very clear with how and what and when they're going to do their work. So this Virgo new moon is going to help your Taurus people do this. Now, let's jump over to Gemini. Now, Gemini, you are kind of on the radar during this new moon because it is in squaring aspect to you guys, okay? So Gemini and Virgo both rule Mercury, okay? One, the day-to-day -day activities of the mind and one, the very specialized activities of the mind, Virgo being that and Gemini being your neighborhood communicator. So for your Gemini people, what's gonna be happening is they may have a tendency to say things like right out of the bat about something without thinking or joking around. This Virgo new moon is going to make them see the way that they communicate. They may need to step it back a bit and be very conscientious about how they speak to other people, especially in their familiar neighborhood or their environment, which is their day-to-day -day environment their home, their work, their school, their kids' school, their dance class, wherever it is they're going. So they're going to really be shown how their words can affect other people during this new moon. Not necessarily a bad thing because everything is an expression and a lesson. So when we learn something and we learn how to express ourselves differently, it's actually a good thing if it's moving us forward. So for Gemini, that's the way I'm seeing the tone of the next two weeks on until the end of the year. So then after Gemini, we have what? We have Cancer, little Cancers. <laughs> okay, you know, sometimes I gotta make fun of Cancers, but that's only because I have a Cancer kid. So he's the one that I like to joke around with. Having said that, Cancer is 
ruled by the moon. It is their ruling planet. That's why your cancer people can be a little bit up and down because they actually traverse emotionally through the different moon signs. So when we're going from Aries to Taurus to Gemini to Cancer, Leo, Virgo, your cancer people, moon and rising, tend to go in and out of emotions with the signs more so than any other sign. The water signs tend to be more connected to that, but in particular, cancer because remember the moon goes in and out of signs every two and a half days approximately and it goes new and full every two and a bit weeks throughout the whole calendar year so cancers are like up and down up and down all the time but this is a good energy for them because this virgo moon actually pulls them into practicality because cancers moon sun or rising can be swayed by emotional issues so even personal planets, Venus, Mars in Cancer, Mercury in Cancer. If you emotionally affect them, you're gonna get a different outcome than if you just are neutral. So this Virgo new moon is going to allow Cancer to be a little bit more neutral and specific in their emotions and actually probably disregard a lot of their up and down emotions. So for those living with Cancer, it's a yay moment because you're not gonna have the up and down emotional, somewhat flippant up and down moods with them. So going into Leo, okay, the predecessor to Virgo. So for Leos, Leo and Virgo seem to work well together because of course all Leos are going to progress into a Virgo energy. So they need to learn to be more specific. So this new moon in Virgo for Leo is actually very dynamic and charismatic for their work. It's going to force them to actually stop playing because their little month is over with the Leo month, and it's going to force them to get into work mode. So for your Leo people, you're going to start to hear them say, I have to focus on this work wise. I have to focus on that. Now it can translate to something in a physical sense. So for example, if you have a broken leg and the energy of your Leo person, it may be specifically that you start to focus on how do I heal my broken leg and how do I walk on it and how do I get back to where I was before it was broken. It can be a physical thing for a Leo as well. So that's how we're taking this new moon for them, but otherwise it's a really good new moon for Leo. And of course we have Virgo. So we just had all the Virgo birthdays. Happy birthday Virgo, by the way. And now we have the first new moon in your sign on your birthday month or in your birthday month. This is a very exciting new moon for Virgo because it gives them a fresh start to their year and to the focus because remember all things Virgo they like to focus plan and execute according to specific instructions so this new moon should help all your Virgo people do just that move forward in a very specific way and it is your birthday new moon so only good things for Virgo coming up like just what they want I mean of course life happens and there can be some not so good things <laughs> but not this month for you guys. So set the tone and set it in a positive high vibration and upbeat thinking because that's how it's going to actually affect you in the coming months. Okay, so then we go on to Libra. Oh my gosh, okay, Libras, you guys have having still a little bit of up and down. So for Libra, this Virgo new moon is gonna make you guys get very specific with your communication to those people that you consider family, friends, and lovers. So there's no in-between for you guys. So Virgos are going to be kind of cutthroat emotionally and verbally in, <laughs> in this new moon phase. Not a bad thing. They're going to make their decisions. So for Libra, it's about decision making. It's yes or no. Remember, saint or sinner. So it's actually a really positive energy coming up in the next several months for them because they're going to get off the fence, stop waffling. That's a word I like to use with Libra. They love to waffle backwards and forwards. I think I will. I think I won't. I don't know. What's the right decision? Should I? Shouldn't I? Okay. So for you Libras, you're going to say, yes, I should. No, I shouldn't. I'm jumping off the fence on the right side or I'm jumping off the fence on the left side and I'm taking action and I don't care what my decision is because I made my decision and it's all really good. So that's how it affects Libra. Now we go from Libra to Scorpio. Scorpio, as I said, you have Venus jumping into your sign on the same day as this new moon. So you, that's a very good thing. It makes all your Scorpio people very attractive in the coming several weeks and probably till the end of the year because now we have Jupiter and Venus in Scorpio. So it makes them lucky. But with this Virgo new moon, you need to be really careful about whom you speak to and the little mind games you play because you Scorpios work from underneath. So you Scorpios 
work from the dark places in the middle of the night while everybody else is sleeping. The Scorpios are out running around doing emotional stuff under current. So it's power play and control during this time. And with that Virgo new moon, it's really interesting. You may get called on some of this. So you may be hearing from people that are saying, did you just say that? Or did you just do that? Or what were you doing when you did this? And in particular, it can come with your work and your living experience during this time. So Scorpios, you need to watch where you live and that is your home environment, okay? Wherever that is and where you work. Basically both your homes, where you work and where you live. Because you may be in the midst of a power play without realizing it or you could be causing it and either way you have to get very clear which is what this Virgo new moon will do for you so that this can stop happening and you can move forward freely with your energy. So from from Scorpio, I was gonna say from Virgo, but from Scorpio, we go to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius is happy Sages. It's all up to you guys in this next several weeks and months for you to change the mindset because this is a period of feeling a little bit more melancholy than usual and Sages aren't used to that because remember, they're happy Sages. <laughs> I always say that, but they are. They're always running in and they're always smiling. But this little period coming up can give them a little bit of an unpleasant taste in their mouth. And I think it has a lot to do with the Virgo perception in a squaring aspect to the Sagittarius because they're going to start seeing people for who and what they are. And I think they may not be able to control certain things, which may cause them to get very upset in their personal life and their one-on-one -on -one, day to day interactions, which makes them a little bit sad because remember Sagittarius likes to go out and have a good time. So if something gets in the way of their fun, it can make them sad, but this is more an emotional undercurrent and it's from the past. So it's like a cycle repeating itself. So for you Sagittarius, try to take this head on, not take this personally and just deal with it as it comes up. Because once you clear it, you won't have to deal with it. And then you can go back to being happy Sagittariuses, happy Sagittarius. And then we have from Sagittarius, we have Capricorn. Capricorn, as you know, it's been a difficult time frame for you and Pluto is still in your sign, going backwards and forwards. It's, it's retrograding, it's not, it is, it isn't. So for your Capricorns, this Virgo moon, new moon is really important for you to take care of your health. And this goes for anybody who may be a drug taker, drinker, or pill popper, steroid user, the Capricorn in your chart is not gonna play games with that. So during this Virgo new moon, if you decide to behave in that fashion, which is completely up to you karmically, you may have repercussions that injure your body. And I'm telling you guys that straight out. Capricorn has this energy because remember, Pluto is going along in your sign with Saturn. We have Saturn and Pluto traveling along in Capricorn. So for you guys with this Virgo new moon, remember the new moon will illuminate things that need to be changed. So let's say you drink too much or you gamble too much or you do drugs too much or you shoot up steroids too much because you gotta be buff, whatever it is, you are going to be held to task for these actions during this time. And you may find yourself in a situation that you can't readily fix. Um, and it can go anywhere from getting a ticket speeding to uh, being fired to ODing, anything like this. Capricorns in particular, I'm asking you guys to be really cautious with your actions during this time because of the two karmic planets traveling along in your sign with this Virgo new moon, which equates specifically to health and the actions you take towards your own health. All right, now let's move on to the next sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, you Aquariuses, we have dealt with the Mars retrograde in your sign, wrecking havoc, causing hell, making people crazy and scream at other people, usually the Aquarius getting screamed at, actually. We are at the tail end of this going into forward direction, which takes all the way till the end of this year. I hated these retrograde planets and I'm sure you did as well. But this Virgo new moon is really interesting for you. It's going to bring about a lot of interesting changes in your life. It's not just that you're seeing things in a different way or they're coming to you more clearly. It's going to open your eyes to things you haven't thought of before. That's the beauty of the Virgo new moon for you guys is it's going to open your mind to things that you haven't experienced and that you haven't seen and it's going to put them right in front of your face like this and you are gonna be able to look at them and say, I think I might like to try that. So for you Aquarius types, this is going to bring you into a new way of thinking and some flexibility with the way that your life has been stagnant 
during that Mars retrograde because you've just gotten rid of all that emotional stuff. And keep in mind, we are stationary direct still until the end of the year. I think it's like December 9th or somewhere around there, first few weeks in December. So we have that all the way through till then. Oh joy. So the energy for you is about opening your eyes to new phases and new things, which is really awesome because that's actually what's going to happen. So for Aquariuses, there is a new direction with which you to plan and follow and move forward with. And now finally, last but not least, are our Pisces people. Okay, so Pisces people, the new moon in Virgo in your opposition. Remember, Pisces uh, is of spiritual or ethereal service and Virgo is of literal service as in on the earth. Okay, that's why it's an earth sign and Pisces is a water sign. So Pisces tends to float through the universe. I use the word float with Pisces. This is for people with a Pisces rising, Pisces moon or Pisces sun or a loaded 12th house with a bunch of planets in the 12th house. It's a Piscean energy as well. They tend to float through life because they go with, they're empathic and they go with the energies around them. So it's like a wave in the ocean. The wave goes wherever it's directed, freely without much say so, and then it goes with the group of energy. That's how Pisces is. This Virgo new moon allows Pisces to stop that until the end of the year and focus on what they want. So it gives them a direct ability to respond to their life in a very practical and earthy way, the way they want to. So Pisces, make the changes you want, whether it's with your work, with where you live, with your relationships, start making these changes because you have the ability to see clearly and become grounded in your thought as opposed to empathically going where people want you to go, which is a real big problem for anybody with a lot of Piscean energy. They tend to do what other people want and not what they want. And then they're like, why am I over here when I wanted to be over there? And they don't even know how they got there. This energy will be different. So use the Virgo new moon to facilitate grounding and strength in the next several months towards the end of the year. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the astrology update and enjoy the Virgo new moon. Remember, write down your intentions. So write down at least 10 things that you want to see change. Focus on those things. And also, because it's a Virgo moon, focus on your body health, your physicality, and your educational health. Start working towards those things. And again, I'm Sloan from SloanBella.com.